Welcome to Petals from the Past Nursery and Farm in Jemison, Alabama. I'm Arlie Powell, and today's topic is Asian papers. We want to show you some things. We're here today in mid-August. We're ready to harvest Asian pears. This is a crop that has not been grown in the South uh, for a very long time. But over the past 10, 20 years, it's, it's become evident that this is a wonderful fruit, one that we can grow successfully in Central Alabama. I'm going to show you two varieties today, and we're going to cut them. And uh, if you were here, of course, you could taste them. But uh, trust me, they're full of water and they're full of sugar. They're wonderful fruits to eat. <clears throat> very firm, very heavy, very heavy fruit, the heaviest fruit that we grow. The first one I'm going to show you is the Shinko variety. Notice this tree. The Shinko variety is a little lower growing tree than the trees on either side of me. Uh, this one is a little bit dwarfish, but not much. It is a fantastic tree. The tree form of this tree is a modified leader where we have several branches. Uh, I'll show you another tree which is a little bit different, but we've tried different ways of training them. Most any way we've used has been rather successful so far. But, this fruit can be used for everything from uh, a dessert, a, 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 for example, used in a salad. It can be uh, added to meats of different kinds. It's, it could be made into a jelly. It makes a beautiful pear crisp. So it's a dual purpose fruit. Nice for dessert, also good for cooking and, and other culinary areas. I wanted to take one of the fruits off the tree today. Now, this fruit uh, that you see here will get a more copper color to it. This is a little greenish copper right now. But it's it's near ripe, but it's not fully ripe. But when I, when I cut this fruit, uh, if you were right here side of me, you could see the juice just pop out of where I cut. And when I make a slice down to the core, and pull it out, it is an absolutely beautiful white flesh. Tastes fantastic, quite good, and it's a wonderful fruit. The beauty of it is, it's like an apple and other pears, it does require cross-pollination, so you have to have a second variety. So what I'm fixing to do right now is to show you the second variety that we think is one of the best that you can grow in addition to Shinko. Hosui is an early variety we like, it's already been harvested. Now I'd like to show you what Korean giant looks like. Notice the first tree that I mentioned, a little smaller tree, a little different design on that tree, a modified leader. This is a central leader. It's like a pine tree. It's got one central leader growing up high. You can also grow uh, Asian pears this tree form should you choose to do so. Korean giant generally is a week or two later than Shinko in maturity, but the fruit size tends to be uh, considerably larger. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second, but if you look, if you look at the fruit on these branches, the tree will absolutely load down Shinko, Korean giant, usually Korean giant is even bigger than you see here. But notice the similarity in color. Again, if I take Korean giant and I cut it, you can see the juice come out. Again, notice that copper greenish finish. But if I leave this fruit on too long, it'll turn solid copper, which means it's a little bit overripe. But at this stage, it's fantastic. Again, Notice the color in this fruit. Now I kept this Shinko just to show you how similar these two are. This is Shinko in my left hand, Korean Giant in my right hand. 
The taste on these is somewhat similar, but as every variety has, there's some distinctive differences. But they're wonderful fruit. They're something you can grow in across Alabama. You can grow these all the way down in South Alabama and up in North Alabama. It's a, it's a wonderful fruit for you to consider.